Hey, what's up guys? It's Thursdays with Claudio and I am so excited to share this descent with you guys at the Dolomites. I was out here for a week. This is last week. This is uh, Paso Valparola. Guys, it's eight miles. It took, it took me like an hour to climb this. Uh, 2,500 feet of going up, 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 up. It was just one of the most beautiful passes. I did it twice. I liked it so much. This is me going down, um, and the, the Dolomites are at the top of Italy, right? The, they're the north, they're basically the Italian Alps, north, uh, northeast. And I stayed in a place called Corvara. Corvara. It's a town, a really, really small town, and I was in there for a week. I stayed in like this dorm room situation. It reminded me of, of college, um, it was so small. And I just cycled my butt off. I have a vlog coming for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I just wanted to give you guys a teaser here of what this place looks like. I am not, I'm not fully sending it on this descent. There's no way. First of all, I have to tell you that I've never used my brakes more in my life um, than climbing here. And like you're riding the brakes the entire time. You can't fully send it. These switchbacks, they're like 180 degrees. And it's, it's just, it's really scary. Um, this was my second time doing it. I did, I was a little bit more confident, but every now and then you saw a car coming. So you gotta take it easy. Um, maybe, I, I, I don't think I broke 40 miles an hour on this. Riding the brakes the entire time. Um, I was here for a week and I didn't know anybody. I came by myself. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just on my phone looking at commute and just looking up rides every morning. This was one of them. It took me like 30 minutes to ride to this pass, to this climb. Um, all the rides, all the really big rides, a lot of them start from Corvara, um, which is like the hub point. So if you stay there, you can ride your bike to all of these different climbs, all these different routes. And it is just like, out of this world like what you see is insane i got drone footage i got stuff coming in the vlog so stay tuned for that um, and if you followed me on instagram you will have seen a lot of things on my stories by the way follow me claudia underscore fiero on instagram right now i'm in tuscany i'm in tuscany like an hour like 35 minutes away from florence and i'm riding out here it is raining it's a rainy season october so you know i got rained on today for 40 miles in tuscany right outside of, uh, I'm in Luca right now. But anyways, let's get back to Dolomites. This was last week and one of my favorite things was the Celeronda. You're gonna see it in the vlog. It's a big loop, it has four passes in it and it's like must do Celeronda. Um, the most epic ride I've ever done. Um, it's like a three and a half hour, three hour, three and a half, three to four hours depending how, uh, how you go how much we hammer, but the views are out of this world. It's insane. And this, it's nothing like this. This is really beautiful and fun, but like the peaks that you see, the mountains, the, just the, the pieces of mountain that you see, the rocks, it's just like unbelievable. Maybe I'll, I'll throw a teaser on here with some drone footage, I don't know, but stay tuned for that. And, <clears throat> This descent, what is it, like a 10 minute descent? Using a little bit of brakes? There you see that mountain right there. I mean, that's what you see through a lot of these, of these rides. And it's just like, wow. I'm wearing my winter jacket. It does get cold in October, so it was like in the 40s, sometimes in the 30s, high 30s. Uh, you gotta wear gloves, boots, and uh, winter jacket or just vast, a lot of layers. I totally recommend coming out here, man. It was, this was really like life-changing. I had zero expectations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I saw a couple of YouTube videos and I came out here because of work. I was in Florence for work and I brought my bike and now I'm just out here riding around. Um, the whole week was, it just went by so fast. I was riding every day and um, there was like one climb that blew my mind. I was climbing for, this climb is like, it's almost like an hour climb uh, all the way from the very bottom. 
so I had another climb that was well out over an hour. I'm talking like, it was just like over 3,000 feet. And it was like the steepest thing you've ever, like it went up to like 16 to 18% grade. And it just kept going up, 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 up. This one had a few moments above 15%, maybe a few moments, but it was just really like a grind of like, you were like at 10% for a while. Um, averaging 10%, maybe nine, maybe at some points 13, 14. And the gearing played a really big part uh, in my success here. So I had a compact in the front, I changed it to 50, 34, and then 11, 32 in the back, and that was great. I, sometimes I wish I had a 34 in the back, but this was, this was totally fine. Um, you can spin, you can, if, at like 13%, you could be spinning at like 60 RPM, which is fine, right? You can do it. Um, when you're getting up to like close to 20, I remember I was like at 40 RPM, 18%. That stuff is just, is just gnarly. Man, look at these views. I'm missing this. This was like exactly one week ago. Ugh. And I went up there with my freaking 60 millimeter wheels, like the same, my crit setup. The only thing I changed was the gearing, but it was just the same. So it's like, uh, not exactly a climbing setup in terms of the weight, but whatever, right? I'm not racing, I'm just out there riding. The Dolomites. Sometimes I really wanted to send it. I really wanted to send it on these turns, but man, trust me, it's like, because of you don't you don't know the you don't know it and you don't know if the car is coming and you don't know if like your you know the barrier it's like it's very easy to feel like you're just gonna fly off the mountain. <laughs> so I was taking it easy, and I have never I've had this bike for five years, six years since 2017. I have not changed the brake pads on it. I just realized I never serviced them. Because I, I don't do climbing, I'm doing a lot of climbs. I'm never really on the brakes. So, you know, it, I never had to. Now I'm thinking, man, I need to get these things serviced. I need to get new brake pads in there because I definitely wore, wore them in uh, on this ride. And all this, this whole week, all this climbing. Wow, I am missing this. Guys, um, more stuff coming. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a nomad right now. If you really want to see my day-to-day, -day, follow me on Instagram. I post it on my Insta Instagram stories. All the stuff that I'm doing, all my rides that I've been doing, I post it on day-to-day. Um, I'm just riding. Every now and then I'll do a workout, an actual like sweet spot workout, but I'm just riding my butt off. I'm out here in Tuscany. Um, and after, in a week, I'm going to go somewhere else. I don't know where. Maybe France? Guys, what do you know about France? What do you, what do you know about riding in France? I wanna go somewhere warm. I'm kinda of sick of the cold. Uh, maybe Southern France. And I, I know there's like a bunch of stuff going on there. And then I might go to Portugal. Uh, let me know if you guys know anything about riding in Portugal. It's getting into the winter season, but I have my winter gear. I have my, my winter jacket, thermals, the whole thing. I'm good. I'm good for a minute. Uh, we're getting to the bottom of this climb. Yes. Man, look at these views. Look at that mountain. It's just like unbelievable when you're there and you're alone and you're just like, what? I think I open it up here, do I? Yep. A little sprint, just a little open up. Woof, that's the bottom of the, of the, main, of the main pass. Yes, I was so happy. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for following along. Subscribe if you want more like this. And I'll see you guys at the vlog and my other videos soon. Peace. All right, today's climb, it's eight miles long. I just started it. Paso with a V. Forget what it's called, but it's looking good so far.